Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. So, I'm actually having very bad luck today, because I woke up being sick, and then I recorded Borderlands, so... Guess what happened? <sighs> no, the audio isn't out of sync, I just forgot to turn on my blimmin' mic. Hey there, so, I've gotta record this all again, with me being sick, yay! <laughs> But I did promise a video a week, so I have nothing to complain about because I actually enjoy what I do. So I had to warm up after this, and I'm actually being more hyper than I was in recording, so I'm actually happy the microphone was off, but I do have a headache, so probably shouldn't shout so much. But yeah, I had to warm up Borderlands because I hadn't played it for a week. I've been hooked on The Sims 3, and yes, I did not think a guy like me would ever get hooked on The Sims 3, let alone play it. But no, I enjoy it for the building side, I love being creative as you guys know, and I'll tell you what, the things you can make in that game, even with like the base game and like one expansion, it's freaking amazing. I mean yeah, it's expensive, but it's fun, it's fun. But yeah, back to Borderlands. I decided to set myself a goal today, and that was to get to the big boom, which I'm not going to spoil even though I did say it already, but um, that was in the last recording. I'm going to get to the big boom, and I was going to end it off, and I did, and I thought, you know what, I might record more if I feel up to it. I'm just going to check on the other recording, so I started seeing how many things I had. It was a 15 minute video, roughly, so I thought, yes, 15 minute video, at last, and my channel hasn't had one of them for ages. Let's check the audio. There was only game audio, so I forgot to unmute my microphone, and that kind of went bleh. And yes, I could have bought the big shield there, but it would have been a waste of money. It was 800 more expensive, and you get a better shield like within the next um, cave sort of thing. I normally say cave or dungeon due to the fact that I'm used to RPGs, but in more like an area. Uh, when I'm playing, I actually never noticed she was talking. How sad is that? <laughs> I guess I really am in one of them moves today where you don't really know what you're actually doing. So I was going for two challenges here. One, I believe, was pistol shooting, which I think you had to get a few headshots on people. Skags count as people currently in this game. And to look in the green vial nest, which is what Skags view up. Kind of gross, right? But you get a um, challenge for it, so I didn't complain. There it is, right there, headshot thingy. And that's the Skag vial thing. Um, basically, everything they eat everything. Human remains, they eat bullets, they eat guns, everything. And the thing is, they can't digest, they like throw up into that pile, and yeah, you get to loot it. Very nice 2K games, I liked how you actually implemented that. No, actually, that wasn't actually sarcastic, I actually love the way they implement different things in this game. The only complaint that I do have with this game is when you get freaking stuck on random stuff that you shouldn't get stuck on. They really should have went over the um, terrain with the terrain smoothing tool in the um, Unreal Engine. But eh, it's a fun game nonetheless. Right there was a the secret area which not many people actually notice or go down unless they actually fall down it. And you actually get a decent amount of money out of it. Now if I left that for later I would have got probably about maybe $200 but we need the money early. That kind of surprised me, I was like, whoa where did he come from? But yeah, I'm sorry for the lack of videos, guys. I've been incredibly, incredibly busy. Um, one of which, as you know, is my novel. I actually took a break from it, so that's how busy I've been. I've been doing random things in real life, sorting out personal issues. Trying not to throw up right now, actually. <laughs> but I need to get this done. I think about 10 minutes of recording left, which... It isn't so bad. It isn't so bad. We're about a quarter, well, a third of the way through. I just wish I had the original recording on it because it's more authentic that way and it's more enjoyable to you guys. Talking of which, are you guys enjoying the Borderlands playthrough so far? I've got a few positive feedback on here, which means I am doing the right thing. I was actually iffy on recording Borderlands for a while, actually. Mainly because I know you guys love Minecraft and. Then you guys fell in love with Team Fortress 2, which I must add I haven't played in a very, very long time. I probably won't be coming back for a very long time either. The game just annoys me now. Just too many people trying out noob weapons and... It isn't Team Fortress 2 anymore, it's kind of like Lone Fortress 2 where you go out and you run and kill everything. No team effort anymore. 
which is the main reason I played teams of the in the beginning. As you guys see here, I'm actually improving my sniper skills a little bit, and it's really hot in here. You know, I left the heating on when they went out. But yeah, it's coming up to summer, so... Clocks go forward soon, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. For me, it's probably a good thing. I love time adjusting due to the fact that I have to go on a new schedule, which I don't really have any schedule for sleeping anymore. Kind of messed it up. <sighs> Thinking to myself, actually, um how much I've missed doing videos for you guys. The reason why I stop isn't what you guys think, it's not because I don't want to record or I'm bored of recording or I'm not getting money for it because I'm actually am getting money for it. Too popular belief but um, I normally don't record because I either don't feel up for it or I feel sick or I'm trying to actually think of a subject and I can't so I save you guys the boredom. And yeah, so yeah I do apologize for not recording for those of you guys that have been missing me or anything like that. I just haven't really seen been feeling that well lately. A lot of things have been happening in real life which I've got to take care of and that is the duty of a 19 year old turning 20 very soon. Talking of which, two games coming out this year which I'm definitely going to get. Borderlands 2, that is a must which is why I need to do this game. I need to do this game, I need to finish it for you guys and get Borderlands 2 before September. September 18th is where it comes out, so if I don't finish it by then, I am literally screwed and I've got another level up there, yes! I'm almost at level 5 in um, where I ended it off, which I want to show you guys where I get the skill from. It's a very nice skill I might add. But yeah, back to the story. The second game I want to get is Guild Wars 2. Now this game is going to be a blockbuster hit I could almost guarantee you guys it's going to be game of the year. It's probably going to take WoW's head, if anything. WoW's dying a lot lately, I mean, yeah, it probably won't completely kill WoW, but it will take a lot of the subscription base away. From what I've heard so far, I think they've lost a million people, and that's over the due course of some time, but a lot more people are now quitting, because the expansions are getting a bit silly. I'll admit that. And anyone who's playing WoW, I'm sorry, but... I quit well at the end of Wrath of the Lich King, I just couldn't bear myself to play Cataclysm and I'm glad I stuck by that choice because I saved a ton of money. I've saved money so I can actually buy games to record for you guys, I've saved money to where I can get myself lovely things and save up stuff and yep, I'm done with MMOs that you have to pay for. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really want to talk about the gameplay right now, I said for this bit actually. We are now going to TK Baha, which is some Hawaiian dude in a Hawaiian shirt, which is actually kind of crazy. So when it comes up, I'll let you guys hear what he has to say. Man, I need a drink, but I can't stop recording right now. Damn it, should have got a drink before I recorded this again. But here we go, I'm going to let you guys listen to the gut scene and see how crazy he really is. One more step and it'll be your last. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> yeah, if that was me in real life, I wouldn't be laughing after that. <laughs> I'd have probably shot him right there in his own place, actually. But we can't. We can't. Nine two stolen food. And over here, we actually go up to the roof. Or well, actually try to, but um, I'm used to multiplayer jumping, so we kind of fail here. <laughs> But yeah, it's another secret place here, money, money, money. So if you guys are looking for lots of money to buy your sweet looking weapons, do not forget that place up there. Remember the skag we killed just earlier? Oh my god, scary skag! It spawns in when you start the quest, so... I think they try to go for the cheap jump there, where people get a bit scared of some things. It always roars at you, so... That's another thing I hated about mechanics in this game. Most of the skags actually stand and taunt you, which gives you really a powerful edge on killing them very fast, which I did not like, because some of the skags in this game are actually very, very challenging. One of which is Skagzilla, which we are going to get to in a few episodes time, but I'm not going to fall too much. But um, the mechanics of that game could have been a lot harder. That's all I'm going to say, it could have been a lot harder, but yeah, what can I do to complain? I got a terrible shot here. 
but I think I do have something to update. Hopefully Michael won't um, kill me for telling people too early. Um, we have finally found a third member for Execution Gaming, which is Execution Gaming turning into kind of a community slash indie game company. Um, one of which we're not actually doing it for the money, guys. But the reason why I said um, company is because we're going to be working very closely with each other to get out a game that you guys will hopefully enjoy. Putting together ideas of the community, which we're going to be taking feedback and ideas soon. More of that coming soon, but it's just still too way way too early. But I just need something to talk about, so that is why I told you guys that. I'm talking of which the game, not the game, the video is going to be ending very soon. I'm going to buy some grenades here, I think. Yep, got grenades. Um, that is a guy we met on the bus, by the way. You know the bus driver. I get stuck here. One of which I wish they actually did sort out the train. And yes, that is a really weird thing chasing after me, called a psycho. <laughs> Midget psycho. Them things always made me laugh. But when they get close to you at high levels, they are not so cute. <laughs> terrible shot, terrible shot. So I decided, you know what? Bang, bang, you're dead. Melee! Bang. Nice sword is nice. Talking of which, are you guys actually enjoying the Borderlands playthrough? Um, if I've asked this, this episode, I am really sorry. I am trying to bring as much things from last commentary to this commentary that I actually remember saying. But yeah, if you're enjoying it, please do let me know. If you're not enjoying it, I'm sorry. I really am sorry, but this is one of the things I'm going to complete on my channel. And I'm hopefully going to complete all Must Die. I just need to get around to playing it again. <sighs> Tired, hungry, and sick. Not a good combo. <laughs> <sighs> it's getting really hot in here. But yeah, there was a few nice things in here, like that um, grenade mod. I just couldn't afford it, which is why I'm going crazy with weapons. I mean, I could afford it if I sold some weapons, but... You guys know me. I don't really think on the spot. I just tend to forget a lot of things, and... I just continue with how I play the game. Also, that's actually a fault. There's one thing I haven't actually asked you guys if you want me to do yet. When I complete this main playthrough, do you guys want me to do the DLC? There's four DLC packs which are probably about eight, four to eight hours each. I think they're about four to eight hours each. Which will definitely bring more content to my channel. So if you guys are up for me doing DLC, please do let me know and I'll see what I can do for you guys. There is a zombie kind of DLC where um, things are a bit messed up. I won't explore the story. And over here I'm actually going for a secret weapon chest which did not spawn this time around. I believe there is actually a level limit on the weapon chest around here. Which I was kind of sad about but yeah. Can't complain, can't complain. I found it really late in the game anyway. Okay, the second playthrough is called Mad Moxie's Underdome. Which has a lot of freaking dubstep in it which I'm not looking forward to. B Borderlands dubstep is actually kind of decent. As you guys know I'm not really a big dubstep fan. But it's kind of like a survival kind of like Left 4 Dead style except with enemies you have actually faced in the game before like they bring back bosses stuff like that and the last two I haven't actually played talking of which I shouldn't actually say um, I've guaranteed on Mad Moxie because last time that was the only DLC that did not work for me so hopefully it does work this time around if not I'm sorry um, it's never actually worked for me so I just hope a complete computer reinstall did help fix that the third is Claptrap Revolution, which I'm not going to tell the story behind that. You'll see at the end of the game where that comes through. And the third one, what's the third one? Um, all I know is it's about the Crimson Lance, I believe. I don't... I don't really remember anything about the Crimson Lance. How sad is that? Like, is they don't make it a big part of the game like they should do. Like, you remember the bandit names, like the Psycho, the Midget, the Bruiser, the Badass stuff, and you remember the Skags, but you don't remember the Crimson Lance. You remember the stuff at the end of the game. But bleh. Anyway, this video is up, so thanks everybody for watching, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So, I will catch you guys in the next episode, which should be coming soon. Thanks everybody for watching.